Fellow Nigerians, good morning. 1st of October 1960, we got our independence. 63 years later, we're still grappling with so much, so much. Not all negative, a few positives, but definitely not where we are meant to be. I know each and every one of us knows the Nigeria of our dreams, the one we want. It's definitely not the one where in times of elections, politicians decide to knock our heads together. That is when they remember that our tribes are different. But after the elections, they call on all of us to put all hands on deck to move the nation forward. It is definitely not one where infant and maternal mortality is top of the list. It is definitely not one where millions of children are out of school. It is definitely not one where the police who are meant to protect, not all of them, profile young people and tell them that they are earning illegal money when they do not understand that the digital age is here with us. We also want a police force that is well paid so that they can pay attention to the job at hand. Nigeria of our dreams is definitely not one where the healthcare services are below par. The Nigeria of our dreams is definitely not one where a hospital will turn away someone who needs help, someone who's at the point of death. A hospital, medical professionals who swore a Hippocratic oath to save lives first. That defeats the whole essence and the ethics of the profession. It is not a Nigeria where there aren't good roads, no potable water. There's so much that needs to be done. There's so much that needs to be done. There's so much that we as citizens, which is the highest office in the land, active citizens, will demand of our servant leaders, servant leaders, because leadership is service. We have prayed. We'll continue to pray. We have, we have put our hands to the plow. We'll continue to do that. But we pray. We hope. We believe. No. We will get the Nigeria of our dreams. And it's not only by talking, but by being active citizens. The Nigeria of our dreams will be one that has strong institutions and not individuals. It will be one where corruption will be a thing of the past. Corruption affects governance. Corruption affects our economic excellence. The Nigeria of our dreams will be one that takes cognizance of all life. Whether you're able-bodied or you're physically challenged, you're mentally challenged, you're visually impaired, it will be an inclusive society. It will be a society we'll be proud of because I know that Nigerians are one of the most hard-working people ever on earth. There is nothing you cannot tell us that we cannot do. Our resilience is where our power is. Our different tribes is where our strength is. Let us continue, continue to work assiduously towards a nation that we will all be proud of. Happy Independence Day. Honestly, this video is so emotional to watch. Like, how can a whole country, like a whole country like Nigeria be celebrating independence and everywhere is silent nobody is celebrating nobody is doing anything it's just like we are mourning because this one you reach to mourn like a whole country like nigeria is celebrating something like independence and this kind of silence is all over the world it's so sad because the nigeria we pray for the nigeria we hope for is not what we are seeing it's getting worse every day 
Like, what are we celebrating? Even even if we say let's celebrate, there is nothing to celebrate. Is it the kidnapping? Is it the bad governance? Is, is it the non-constant electricity? Like, oh, a lot of things. Is it the poverty? Like, a lot of things. Like, if you remember what you are going through, self, only you yourself as an individual, you will know that it you, that Nigeria doesn't deserve to be celebrated because every day it's getting worse and worse. Honestly, I pray that Nigeria gets better. The worst part of it is that our government, our politicians, they will travel abroad to enjoy the good life that their, the other countries have made for their citizens. When they come back, they won't try to implicate or do that thing that they have enjoyed there for their own country. Like, it's so sad. It seems that this, like, I don't know how to put it. The thing is paining me because a lot of people are suffering and is getting worse every day. I pray Nigeria gets better. We keep praying for Nigeria. We keep hoping that our country gets better someday. Guys, let me know what you think about this video. Do you think Nigeria deserves to be celebrated? Do you think they deserve to be celebrated? Me, I don't think so because we are suffering. There is nothing to celebrate. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. There is nothing to enjoy, Shad, but share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to follow, like this page, and also share your thoughts in the comment section. I would like to hear each and every one of your thoughts. Like a lot have been going on. Let us share our opinion there.